Hi and welcome, my name is Julianne Cost, and in the next few minutes we're going to take a look at the map module in Lightroom. Now I know that a lot of people arrange their images based on maybe client or maybe based on date or time or year, but another interesting way that you might want to view your images is based on location. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to hover my cursor on top of the activity center in Lightroom and I'll use the disclosure triangle in order to turn on the address lookup. And what that's going to do is it's going to look through my images and it's going to look for any GPS information in order to try to find locations automatically for me from my images. So in fact I have a number of images here that I photograph with my camera phone and I actually know that there is GPS GPS data in these files because you can see there's a little badge right here that tells me that there's GPS information. And if we come over here to the metadata panel and I switch it from the default metadata to the location option, as we scroll down we can actually see this GPS information. If I want to see this image or this folder of images or a collection of images in the map module, I can either click the map module or I can click on this little shortcut, the arrow to the right of the GPS information and sure enough it takes me to that location on the map. Now while I'm in the map module I can zoom in using either the sliders or I can just use the plus keys or I can use the minus keys to zoom in and out. I'll go ahead and zoom out all the way here and then another way that we could zoom in quickly would be to hold down the Option key on the Mac or the Alt key on Windows and click and drag a rectangle around the area that you want to zoom and Lightroom will zoom directly into that area. Now just one little hint that I will mention is that you actually do need to be online in order to see the map module because it needs to download all the maps interactively so you can't be offline. All right, there are many different views that we can see the map. I'll change here from the hybrid to the road map if we want to see that. Or we can use the satellite view or there's terrain and then we can switch to light or dark. But for now, I'll stay with the hybrid view. So we can see that Lightroom automatically put all of the images that are in this folder on the map for me automatically because they all have GPS information. But what happens if I want to add additional images that don't have GPS? Well let's go to the library module for a moment and I'll switch to this folder. Now all of these images were taken in a plane flying over the salt flats in the Bay Area. So when I go to the map module you can see here that it's not putting any of the images on the map for me automatically because there's no GPS information. However, I can quickly search the map. So I could type in San Francisco Bay, tap return or enter and Lightroom will automatically zoom in to this area. I can then reposition the area that I'm looking at and I can go ahead and zoom in in order to find the area that I was flying over when I took these aerials. And sure enough we start to see the area right here. For now I'm going to hide all of these different markers just so we can see the map a little bit better and we'll go ahead and just scoot over until we see this lighter area right here because these salt flats actually change color during the year but this is the area that I was flying over. So I'll select the first two images and it looks like I was flying right about here so I'll just drag and drop those onto the map and then I'll select this whole next range of images that are really colorful because I know that these images here I happen to be flying over this area right over here. It's just a different time of year so the salt flats are a little bit different in color. Then we can scoot over here a little bit and I'm actually going to zoom in a bit more and if I zoom in enough, look at this, we can actually see this little guy right here. You see this formation on the map? That happens to be this image, if we scroll a little bit further, right here. So I know that this whole set of images were photographed right here. 
And finally, if we zoom out a little bit more here using the minus key and I scoot back to the left there, then I can select these last groupings and drag and drop them right over here. So you can see it's very easy once I've identified on the map where I photograph the images to just drag and drop the images from the film strip to that location. And over in the metadata panel in the map module, we can see that sure enough, there is our GPS data. Excellent. Before we wrap up, I do just want to mention because the GPS data, it can be a little bit sensitive. Maybe you have photographs of your kids in the schoolyard or playing soccer or at a local park or something. So if we move back to the library and I choose to export these images, you'll notice that while I'm exporting the four files as my JPEGs here, if I scroll down under the metadata area, I can still include my copyright and contact information. And you'll notice that it would actually remove the location information automatically. So there you have it, an easy way to view your images on the map and add GPS data to them in Lightroom. I'm Julianne Koss. Thanks for watching.